Hey gorgeous soul, welcome to your February astrology and it is a big one. We have Pluto, the Lord of Transformation, the big transformer in its last degree. It's going into a different sign. It's going into Aquarius in March. And right now we've got the peak of our whole Pluto experience. As well as that, at the end of the month, Saturn is reaching its final degree. And this is huge in astrology because it means all of that energy becomes magnified and magnified and magnified and it's reaching a peak. So there's a peak of change and there's a peak of awareness about what and who we want to commit to and what and who restricts us. And it's going to be very deep and very profound. I really do suggest you don't just look at your sun, you look at your rising, very important, and where Saturn and Pluto are in your chart. If you haven't got your chart, you can get it free on my website, michellenight.com, and there you'll be able to see where it is. And it, you're going to know anyway, trust me, uh, which of those positions is affecting you more because it's big and it's loud and it's final and it's intense. Here's your monthly astrology. Hey Libra, how you doing? Well, the full moon in Leo is making you open up your arms to other people and you're really thinking about the impact of who you mix with, what you believe, what your belief systems are, and also what you're doing online, how that's benefiting you, is it helping you, are you progressing, are you evolving, are you being creative? And are you reaching the people you want to reach? Or do you need to take some time out? The full moon will give you some very, very, very clear answers on those questions, but also give you intuitive wisdom on how you can deal with them, right? So whatever's on your mind in that area to do with people, collaboration, even friendships, group friendships, that is, and uh, anything online, the answer is there. Trust your intuition. Don't ignore it. The full moon is bringing you clear messages for a reason. So jump on board and listen to it and pay attention because there's a great big clearing out coming to us all as we move through this Pluto phase. And Pluto for you is in your home and family zone. There's probably been massive, potentially really hard lessons since 2000, well, end of 2008 to early 2009 connected to your home and family, not just your literal home and family, but, but what those things mean to you. I imagine your view of, of home and family has changed. There's been massive and dramatic transformations around home, home and family. And there's a peak of your understanding of that. But also, hopefully, you've realised that security comes from within and you've gathered people around you that you consider your family. But you're very, very sure about the next level and where you want to go when it comes to home and family. It, it's going to be quite a huge but positive shift fingers crossed. But certainly, you know, ponder on those past few years and how you've changed in your view of home and family and where you want to go now, because it is different. On Valentine's Day, the 14th of February, Jupiter is trying the moon. So that's great for all of us. And it looks like you're going to have a really important and uplifting conversation with someone about your future when it comes to one-to-one -to -one relationships, romance, friendships or business partnerships but it has a very very positive and fresh feel you get a different perspective and you're like oh there is a, a wider horizon of possibilities coming my way with um, mercury sextile jupiter mercury the planet of communication jupiter the planet of good fortune something really amazing and incredible could happen to you this month and also there's great intimacy and opportunities to really get close to people on a deeper level and have that balance. And there should be lots of fun times, joyfulness, creativity and playful pleasure. The new super moon in Pisces is looking at your habits and your patterns. What do you need to let go of? Are there any habits, things you do day to day that you do day in, day out without thinking about or you know really you shouldn't do? because it, 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 it doesn't benefit you and you don't feel good about it. You're able to let go of any patterns, habits, 
or, you know, anything to do with your health and well-being as well that you need to change and transform, you're able to do it on that new supermoon. Now, Venus, the planet of love, is entering your opposite sign of Aries. And actually, it's really good for you in, in terms of your relationships and your romances and your business partnerships and all those one-to-one -one things. You really are drawing harmony to you and you're understanding harmony in a new way. And let's not forget, you know, harmony is your bag. You are the boss of harmony. <laughs> That's what Libra is all about. So you are able to find it potentially with another person. Again, it could be business. It could be a friendship. It could be a cat. It could be a romance, but it's a one-to-one -one intimate connection. And finally... We have Saturn on the 27th reaching that peak in the same way that Pluto is. It's re reaching 29 degrees and it's about what makes you happy. Have you felt that your happiness has been on hold in the past two or three years? If so, you're going to have a very deep understanding about what that's all about and you're able to make a 100% commitment to happiness in your future. But you have to understand the journey to get to the happiness destination. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. I've had my psychic company for over 20 years. I've always been exceptionally picky about who I have on my team. My psychics are incredible people. They're all emotionally intelligent. They give a very accurate and specific reading and they're all beautiful and different in their own right. So we got our fabulous psychics here. My psychics go through five rigorous tests, including one with me. And then we get to meet. I love meeting the readers. And we make a film showcasing their unique skills. Sharon P. Hello. <laughs> Here, we're doing filming. So are you uh, excited? Just relax, be yourself. Open up your heart. So if you feel that you're accurate, you're emotionally intelligent, and your heart really wants to empower your clients, then we'd love you to apply and come for a test with us.